Welcome everyone. I'm about to play the Crooked Man, which again is a game with pick from the Wolf Prince. Thank you again for the continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am scared and excited. Mostly scared. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but thank you so much. And I watched it a long time ago, but I don't remember much. I just remember it being spoopy. So. But yeah, the trigger warnings are there for you guys to know, so that way you guys can know if that's your limit or not. So, did it for Heavy Rain, doing it for this. Cats look like they're on a warpath. They're like, no me gusta. <laughs> and also Squiddy is covered in biddies over there. All right, so let's do start. Uh, space? I'm not on it, so this makes sense. Ah! This is fine. I don't know how it triggered before. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content, so refrain from playing it if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules of the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No repurposing sources, except il author's illustrations. No redistribution, redistribution of game files, except for the translations. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. And check the author's site for more information. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of the software. A. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence. Sixpence. <laughs> Press F to pay respects for sixpence. Upon a. Oh shit! <laughs> he walked. He brought a crooked cat, which caught. A crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Sixpence! Akita! <laughs> Sixpence! Whew, finally, things look tidy in here. Who's Paul? Who's main character? I want a, a main character I want to be my voice. Marion? I'm assuming that's a girl. That should, that should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? David, I'm David. Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. While it's late, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. A. All right. A phone. A box of tissues. Uh, old TV. Crack in the wall? There's a huge, large crack in the wall. Great. An empty trash can. Cupboards. Refrigerator. A stove. I'm procrastinating. A sink. Okay, okay. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it back to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. I know that sound well. It. Can I run any faster? Huh? What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy and it's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move... He wanted to move for a change of pace and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? And not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. Awkward. License can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Should I have a death counter? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. It's like Edgeworth and Phoenix. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Hi, Simp Adventures. Hello, hello. Welcome. Also, if I missed anyone, call me out. I will say hi. Uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. 
Seven days? Yeah, seriously. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Is that my bathroom? Oh, okay. So this is all my house. Bathtub. That's my office, I guess. All right. What? I didn't... Knocking gets no response. Because I didn't uh, enter to do that, so... I want to sleep to seven ways to die. Knocking gets no response. I just walk up to them and it automatically knocks for me. Gets no response. Rude. My neighbors hate me. Yes? Who is it in this hour? Pardon me. I just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I need to get back. I better get back to sleep. Uh, take care, Lucarian. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you for the game was picked. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for helping. You're awesome. Cute apartment, but we know it totally won't be. Yeah, exactly. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Mm -mm. Can I save? That's a... Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm? Found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. Oh. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. Can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get back to bed. It's, I could see it being similar to Cope's party. I mean, it's the same style. That sound still. Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. I do not like looking at my bed under. If right, Pebble see? I'd be moving again if this happened to me. Right? Hey, Bryson. Hello? Oh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no. I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Who's calling you in the middle of the night? Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. Oh, it's not sunny outside. Are your windows not, are they like concrete? Are they fake windows? Uh, I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Do you need like food? Oh, nope. He just wants to leave. It's fine. Sup? Paul, what is it? Uh, yeah, uh, forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write something on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Bye, bitch. Hit. All right. Done. It's a mic cleaner. <laughs> My mic. <laughs> to be fair. Back to the spoopy. Exactly. Uh. Hey. There are some dirty windows. Seriously. Why is Paul so aggressive? <laughs> uh. I got you. I got you. 
I know you're there. This is ridiculous. It's making me stop. No need to go in there. Rude. No need to go in there. No need to, ah, I figured it was the last one. Mom, it's been a while since I've been. Anyway, are you doing okay? Paul's an adulting, right? Oh my, if it wasn't, if it isn't little Timmy, he's certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you much. I've been busy with work. David and Timmy don't work well together. Really because I'm working while walking, watching cat streams. Kita multitasks like an amazing person. Just saying. It's adult life without some pranks. Musical horror games. But I took a few days off and I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh. Who would you be? Why are you here? How'd you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? H who are you? S say something, will you? M Mom. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now, calm yourself, miss. Let's get you to bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Well, that's just sad. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, remember? Mom. David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But but she said my... I said leave. Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. That escalated quickly. Well, this is fucking sad. Ooh. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks, I hope I can help her. Well. Mm. Oh, Miss Manga Chick. It is sad. When not horror. What was that noise? The fuck? Old computer. Coat hanger. Not many clothes inside. No reason to go out. Washman. That's a rude toilet. Don't want to go. Uh, okay. Watch crack in the wall. I don't know what that noise was. Rude. Grandmother had Alzheimer's. She didn't remember my dad, but strangely remembered me. There's like weird things that your brain remembers and picks up on and things that doesn't. All the love, guys. Especially if you've been through it. It's not easy. 
It's really, really hard to have someone not remember, so. All the love to you guys if that's hard. Hi, Suman. Hello, hello. So let's see. What am I supposed to do? Memory is very weird. No reason to go out, but you don't want to do anything? Drawers, nothing in them. Bookshelf, hardly any books. Did I fuck up? I'm a save. Let's do a new save. Just in case I broke it. What I do? What I not do? have an idea of what I should do I'm asking chat now because I'm I'm confused I think I've investigated everything I'm just supposed to stand around anyone in my personal life have Alzheimer's but still sad to see and hear about right a few friends who've had to deal with it it's not easy it's really not thank you silent gaming for the channel the follow the channel <laughs> thank you for the follow hey oh I fell out well this is why Recently transferred a memory from one sea slug to another. People are definitely trying to figure out memories. Huh, interesting. So many deja vus, it's weird, right? Deja vu freaks me out. I feel like it's this crack. What game is this? Hi, Silent Shady. Uh, Silent Gaming. Oh, my God. Can I read? That'd be great. Uh, it is The Crooked Man. It is a RPG horror game. RPG maker horror game. A. Hey. Well. Rude Squid Bot. <laughs> I mean, it answered, and then it was rude. <laughs> the fuck? Uh... But I'm lost right now. I don't know. I heard a weird noise. And I don't know what it was in relation to. Like, I heard the noise right about here. Did I fuck up? I'm gonna get, like, jump scared. Squid pot seems a little tipsy. Just a little bit. Pixel hunt. Uh, did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was anybody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. Be sure. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better than after all. There we go. Hello? Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Hi, uh, you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. We'll hang up now. Well, I'll hang up now. All right, see you. No, you guys are good. I figured it out, I guess. Objection! Ooh, my background changed. Freaked me out for a second. Uh, it does make me happy, through though, in certain situations. Like a woman's mother had Alzheimer's and the daughter was pregnant. And every time she would give her the news about the baby, the mother would get so excited each time. 
that's kind of adorable and sad at the same time. Aw, I love that. But I hate it because it's, you know, sad that she has to keep doing it, but. Uh, a lot nicer than Nightbot. <laughs> well, the only thing that is scarier than lost memories is fake memories. It's true. That is true. Can't remember what you're supposed to do. Well, I guess I just ninja my way into it. The salt. Uh, I was just about to tell you what to do and then you found it. Well, that's what always ends up happening is by the time I ask chat, I fucking figure it out on accident. <sighs> Knocked my glass off the table and I grabbed it midair with my hurt hand. Well, nice grab. But, oh, your hand. You poor thing. Uh, thick. Uh, alright. Um, dots. Soma. Love Soma. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Can I take a drink of water? Sweet. Well, why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink. Gah! Well, what the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Which sink? This sink? Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. You got a scrap of paper. Blurry words. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence. Press F to pay respects for sixpence. Upon a crooked st style. He bought a crooked... He bought a crooked cr cat. Oh my god. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they lived to all lived together in a crooked little house. Can I read that big read? Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Crooked cat? Yeah, Twisted Dr. Seuss. I'd be out so fast. Uh, thank you guys for those... That for those that don't know what Sixpence is from, me and Kita played The Sexy Brutale, which is so good. Highly recommend. Amazing music, too, but beautiful art style. Great story. Um, and Sixpence is one of the characters in it. So, uh, not a spoiler. He dies in the first five seconds of the game. The whole point of the game is um, to save a bunch of people from dying. But it is so good. But, yeah. Crooked cat. Say what? And it goes to my house. I always say that my house is haunted anyway. I, I don't want ghosts. Go scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Something I can't fight off. Mm -mm. Nope. Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And that kid would live in these beat up apartments? And what kid would leave, you know, reading? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. You should go to sleep and stay asleep. That's what you should do. I'm not in control. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Should I have saved? Rude. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee's spelling out? You gotta be. This room is really, really strange with its voices and, and TVs turning on. What is this? How about now? Must be getting tired. You were already sleeping. Yeah. Huh. Uh, hi, uh, uh, hi, Paul? It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy, haha. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, was up all night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like she he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. 
The landlady's on the far end of the first door. I'll go see what she knows. Oh, is that who I woke up? Well, this is why. What? I should apologize later. Oh. Knocking gets no response. Okay, wait. It's another crack. Hello! <laughs> oh, my God. To see sexy Patel cook collections on the top where cats organize everything neatly. Yes, exactly. I gotta do it with the new stuff, but yes. It's got the sexy Patel, all of it in there. Spirit cats aren't scared of me. Mm -mm. I just, I can't. I think I moved. I am almost sure that's my last house that was haunted. Oh, God, no. Mm -mm. Tense David. Stick figure guy. I mean, he kind of looks like he's dancing. <laughs> I knew that an accident would happen if Dum Dums kept speeding on the road. Oh no, did an accident just happen? Well, yeah, it was a Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always, <laughs> this voice, always have some people coming and going. Now the, what's that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left a month, about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I've never heard that, no. <laughs> really, just up and left out of the blue. That's exactly what came to mind. <laughs> I just can't remember the name. I could rummage through the, my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I just just look curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry, it wasn't. A, it was useful. Very useful. Eh, same thing. <clears throat> I haven't seen that movie, but I've seen a BTT view of in mode of it. I love the movie. Oh my god. I love. I love Robin Williams. Aw, uh, take care, Silent Gaming. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the follow. Take care. Uh, DJM's just taking care of life stuff. All of us. All of us have to at some point in time. I know she's seeing movies tomorrow. Oh, no, wait, maybe that's today. Maybe she's seeing movies today. I want to see movies. God damn it. I can only wonder... A uh, man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh, well, I'll get back to my room. Mm, nope, 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 Oh, I didn't see what that... Is there something in this crack? I got a brass key. I thought it was a boss key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in you... Anything in here, so I wonder where. Great movie. I still miss Robin Williams. Me too. Ooh, great art. The guy's voice. The kid's voices. The mirror writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. It's like a poltergeist or something. He also looks like James Sunderland. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? No, because it means someone wouldn't go move there. Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody would be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. Damn. But I wonder what that scrap of paper... About that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen while he was here too? I'm adding words. It's fine. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. I like how he's like, this is fine. Buddy. I'm hungry, but at the same time, I want to stay to not miss anything. Oh, Lucas, que fruto. What is that? It sounds like a printer. What? 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 Boss key. Time to fight the final boss, right? He does look like James. Yeah, it looks like Silent Hill James. Uh, dancing stick finger. I don't feel bad for them either. It's a 50 mile an hour road and the drivers feel the need to go 70. This is a school road too? I'm surprised it's 50. Jesus. <sighs> a few mo more levels. Oh, for what? Oh, for the boss key. This dude, he's tired every two minutes, right? Facts, oh lord. Pyramid head, done. I'm out. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. I mean, that is actually a game. 
Why? What? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Apartment, but okay. No computer. Nothing in them? I would think it was... Did... The phone? It's a large crack in the wall? Okay, so it's not my house. Okay, I'm gonna save. Okay. I heard something in the room. Rude. Wait. Waste basket? Nope. It's clearly a fax machine. Still a sink. Alright. Uh, can't do that. Nothing in them. Ah, it came from in here. Radio? What's? Why is that in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. It's fucking Silent Hill. Hey, Recreator Fi. Hello, hello. Hmm. There's something on this piece. Of, there's something on this paper here. Is it an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Is this Silent Hill? Like, it a, a just... Our special place. Isn't that what... Mary writes to James? Hmm. This is Silent Hill too, right? That wardrobe is hella dark. I don't trust it. Uh, I'm right? Okay, I thought so. Huh. Huh. Fuck, it's the ghost again. Let me get my broom. How could you be so calm, right? I would, I'd be freaking out. Fax is our primary method of communication predicted to back in the future for two. Oh my god. It's the spooks. The spooks are coming for him. The spooks. I got a piece of paper with an address. Great. Can I go to sleep now? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> He's so shaky. I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... How... And when did it... Happen? What? Ah! That's great. He's gone. Like the wind. Gone. Uh... Hey, social blasphemy! Hello, hello. So his death stranding is Metal Gear. Well, I guess I ran away. Waiting for you was the name of the song in Silent Hill. Wow, they just, all the Silent Hill references here. Not foggy enough, right? Silent Hill confirmed. Illuminati. Oh my god. Surprise, motherfucker. Large fry, motherfucker. Oh my god. Get the fuck out already, David, right? So, did you sleep all last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha, huh, I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no reason in particular. There's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding uh, into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why are you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if it, anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. I'm just. I'm glad to know a guy. I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me. Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. Oh. I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off of that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I, kn I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. Forget about your mother. <laughs> As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in a hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran away from me. Ran from me. Damn. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and I'll have... You'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh, well, I'll be careful. Hi, Pancat! Hello, hello. Oh my god. I didn't know if this game was a teaser for Silent Hill 2. Wee wee wee. Painting mural, I'm drawing for you. Or I'm drawing you. So I just used my blood. Why are you running away? I made this for you! 
basically. That's what the ghost feels like. Uh, emote, emote squishy. You want it as a plush? It'd be a cute plush. Don't call me Shirley. Airplane? Is that what that is? I remember this game. Hi, Alter again. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. Oop, should I get the coffin? Yeah, was that? I thought so. River loves that movie. There. Looks like an address in the mountains. Hi, Jake. Be about a four-hour drive. Five-hour drive. I can't read. Did the former tenant go there? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Rude. He's going to hell. He's already halfway there having a personal rain cloud with his apartment being haunted, right? Prologue. David's room. End. How many how many parts are there? I'm emotionally drained, Kaiju. You oh Alter, all the love. Uh save in here. Alright. Play some of the guitar waiting for you. Hey. Actually, this one. And then I'll, like, work my way down and keep everything the end of the previous chapter. Alright. Just getting started is the achievement I got. Instantly recognizable for me. Hey! Well, it's good that you're here! Oh, no. This looks like the Aoni house. A little bit. Jeez, it's gotten dark. But this place... This is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I'll just have to check. Uh, Hotel Ruhenheim? Uh, giving you a serene stay. This looks really serene. Hotel register. Um, it's locked. What? There we go. Clock has stopped. Landscape painting. Staff only. There's wire on the around the doorknob. Staff room. Well, where am I supposed to go? Can I run? I can't run. Fun fact. What'd I do? Did I break it already? So fun fact, alt freezes everything, I guess. Well, you know. So I can't run, so I can I don't need my left hand. Keyhole's painted over. It won't paint it won't open. Okay, so these are just rooms. It's locked. What is that? 107 through 114. Painted over, it won't open. Painted over. What? Yeah, painted open. So there's only one oh, there's two that are it's locked. Okay. So, one thirteen, one twelve. Oh no, that's weird. One twelve and one oh eight. Yeah. Sweet. Good to know. My arrows in my own way. There we go. Won't open. Won't open. Won't open. Hold up. Won't open. It won't open. Oh, it's locked. Staff only. It's locked with a passcode. Excuse me. Pardon me. What? Looks like the bathroom. Something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me, dear mom and dad. Well, that doesn't help me because I don't know what that's in reference to. Treasure hunt? I guess the kids staying here drew this. Huh? Sure looks. I'll look for your treasure. Treasure. I just keep thinking about Masao where everything kills me. So, I think that's it. Unless. 
Nope. All right. I'm out. I don't know what that's in reference to, though. So I gotta go upstairs. Deer head. Great. Mounted deer. Great. Yeah, David's the playable character. Aw, oh, take care, Orion. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. David can't stay away from the spookiness. No, he can't. Uh, are you going to sleep, Leches? I didn't see. Really love the music from that game. Oh, uh, from. Gotcha. Aw. Bonding. Just wanted to check in with chat. That someone's referring to a person. Oh, for David? No. It's just the, the, yeah, it's this dude. Which at least his name's not James. Two and three are pretty, are pretty great, though. I love Silent Hill 2 and 3, personally. But 2 ta is slow on the uptake of, like, things being creepy. It takes a while. The controls in 3 are way better than 2, though. But, yeah. I get used to it. Corpse party where everything kills you, right? God damn. Uh, unusable doors clearly indicates we're in Silent Hill now, son. <laughs> yep. It's true. You're not going to sleep? Okay. Well, welcome still. Rip all James's. Silent Hill 3 is my favorite. I would say Silent Hill 2 is my favorite in terms of story. Gameplay-wise, I don't know. But I, I really liked 2. But I'm trying, I mean, it's frustrating and you get lost and it's really big, but I think I like it in terms of story the most. I like playing women, though, so I really like three. Um, four, I have a hard time with going. I love four. I love it. Until you have to go back to all the places again. And then I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> but otherwise, I love it. I don't care for five. I've never played Downpour. I don't care for Shadow Memories. Name of this place is Ruinheim. Uh, badly butchered German. Uh, I think it translates to quiet home. Hmm. Interesting. It's about the atmosphere and dread before you know what's really going on. Exactly. I like Silent Hill Alter. It's pretty sweet, but it's it's good horror. It takes a long time to get there, though. Like, I was watching Thomas Anders play some uh, scary games, and the three games he played recently, it was just, like, short little snippets, was... The Friday the 13th SNES, and then it was Silent Hill 2, and then it was The Evil Within 2. Luckily, 2. The Evil Within 2 is great. Um, I highly recommend it. But I would say, honestly, Silent Hill 2 is scarier to me than The Evil Within 2, but they found Evil Within 2 scarier because it starts off really fast. Also, the controls are way more intuitive. Um, Silent Hill 2's controls are kind of, they're really clunky. They're old. They're clunky. Um, so they were having a hard time maneuvering and it's really slow. So really Silent Hill 2 doesn't get good until like a couple hours in. So they never got to that part. Um, so that's what I would say is it's, it's a slower game. Thank you, Buttercup, for the hoist. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Liz Stat Smith for the follow as well. Thank you. Thank you. But although I do highly recommend the evil within two, I only found certain aspects scary. The very beginning was scary. I will say the beginning was spoopy. But um, throughout the game, it's so open world that I more had fun. I really enjoyed too. I hate Evil Within 1. So I'd be okay with an Evil Within 3 if it followed suit with 2. I really like 2. I actually found Evil Within 2 just to be a great game, but not that scary. Yeah, I would agree. But I found it to be a great game, whereas 1 sucked. Although I will say anything with the ghost girl fucking scared the shit out of me. Freaking, I don't like her. It's fine. Love Silent Hill. Just stay away from the HD collection, in my opinion. I've heard it's it's scary. I have all of the Silent Hills, except for Downpour. I have them all on CD. Problem is, I don't have, like, a converter to be able to stream them. So I need to do, like, a emulator or something. So, even playing it, like, so I got the Xbox version. Because so, it has, um, you can play as Marie or PS2. I don't know. I have one of the Silent Hill 2s where you can play as Marie's story. And it's, like, a short little snippet. Um, and so Snuffles was playing it and I was watching, there are so many broken textures it's, and that's the CD and there are so many broken textures. I was taking pictures when it happened. It was great. There were some broken noises. It was hysterical. Evil Within wasn't really scary to me. I mean, some parts were, but the, uh, some of the concepts were, I never played too. The two, two is amazing. I wouldn't say it's scary, 
but I would say it's it's so much fun to play. I really highly enjoyed too. Get with the trend. It's going to be called the third within. He, <laughs> because elite. The evil within tested my patience so much. Same. I did not like one. I did not like one. I liked the DLC as Kidman, um, but I did not like one. I loved two. I will say I absolutely enjoyed myself with it. I honestly haven't played many horror games as I probably should. I mean, I mostly watched my friends play when I was younger. I didn't start playing them until I got a channel. Has a big conference this year. A Bethesda. Prey related. I've never played the first Prey. The third within. Yeah. Thurvel. Threevel. <laughs> never buy downpour if you care about developers actually trying to make anything at all. Do not buy downpour. Oh, no. I've heard. Thank you for the host, Jalamas. I don't know. I think John enjoyed it, which is interesting. It's the only one I haven't played or seen. I don't know how STEM is still active. Yeah, like, they're they're definitely gearing towards a third. Did you ever play first-person mode? I did not. Probably scare me, but... My problem with HD collection is what they did with the remakes. It is a bit. Yeah, I've heard it's bad. Like, I've heard it's really broken. I've heard the music's... Uh, I've heard that, um, like, the text fonts... They used Papyrus or... No, they used Comic Sans! <laughs> it's It's bad. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they... And the voice acting. Isn't the voices all different? No fog? It, Rubik is still... Yeah, something like that. HD makes me cry. Yeah, the, the HD remake collection was not... You know, I'd play OGs. I prefer games that are creepy and unsettling in terms of horror, like Creeping Dread that make you intensely in uncomfortable. Same. That's why I hated the ghost and they both in too. But otherwise, I thought it was just fun. It was really fun to play. I didn't find it scary otherwise. Wife was the protagonist. Rather than the generic, gruff dude, Sebastian. Yeah, I would... Pr I love Kidman. I wish Kidman was the protagonist. I love her. She's my favorite. Uh, I know Cry did a corpse party. Lestats. Cry did a really good corpse party. I watched it back in the day. I have not played it, though. Don't play a lot of horror. I'm very picky when it comes to horror game in any medium. That's legit. I hate loud noise jump scares because they're so cheap. Yeah. I, I like... I like atmosphere. Like, this This is pretty creepy. I would say this This is unsettling me. I know it has jump scares, but it's... This is tasteful. Hi, Def. Can we get a shout-out for Def? You guys should be following him because he's a precious cinnamon roll. Just saying he's a part of Robot College and fan fucking -tastic. Just saying. He's got that smooth voice. Also, he's apparently an amazing rapper. Look at this crooked man, hands in the air like it's good to be alive. He's a famous killer. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I, I just chat scrolled so much. My bad. Fatal Frame 5 going to Switch. That'd be amazing. I'd play it. I've played two. I have three. Unfortunately, I can't sh uh, record from PS2 anymore, but... Yeah. The Trilby games? I have not... But I've heard it. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about for the Trilby games. I think River played them all. That's something I'd play with River if I were to play the Trilby games. I've heard of those. I think I saw River play like two or three of them. You played Kidman only once in Evil Within 2, still crime. I know. But you do get to play her in the DLCs. Those are great. Assa uh, assignment and Consequence. Those are good. A... Character models for me within two. I'd agree. Eh. I don't mind jump scares if they aren't used as a crutch. Right. Exactly, Kaiju. Fan fucking tastic. Yeah. Oh, I love you guys too. A. Eh. What happened to the PS2 again? Uh, the the PS2. I tried to get Rule of Rose to go. There's something I don't know if it's the upscaler or what, but it's the fact that it's going through an HDMI. Uh, translator so it goes from avi to hdmi um i don't know if that's what's fucked up or if it's like i need a converter like kita got but they're not cheap um but it goes directly when i tried to do it with rule of rose what would happen is the sound was on skipping repeat um and then the it looked like a vhs a vhs tear thing was going on like, you know, when, like, VHS is used to tear and visually, that's what would happen, and it wasn't showing, like, it was bad. It was not showing the gameplay like it's ne needing to. Um, and that's how it was capturing on OBS. It was fine to watch, like, me to play 
on a uh, screen like how I do with anything, um, like with Splatoon and stuff. It was fine going from the Aver Media to my monitor, but going from Aver Media to OBS, OBS just freaked out, and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if it's the upscaler or what, but that's a lot of money to test out and see if it's that. Um, but it might be. But yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, or else I do PS2s. Hey, there's Messi. Can we get a shout out for Messi too? He's also, he's a brand new Robot College member. You guys should go check him out if you haven't already and follow him. Just saying. A <laughs> Def is here a lot. Def is fantastic. Thank you, Def. I was going to ask about Rule of Rose because that's one I've wanted to play. I have it. I have the CD. It's uh, Alicia Storms. But um, that is, again, that my problem with PS2 right now. I have a lot of horror games on PS2. Just can't play them as of right now. Rule of Rose has awful Rule of Rose has awful gameplay, but the story and music are quite good, right? Yeah, no, it's stupid hard, but yeah, I would I would try. Company that allows score noise to enhance the scares, what makes me hate them? I could see that. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, to be fair. All right, let's get back to scariness. <laughs> All right. Oh no! Oh wait, lost. Uh, I did this. N no, no, it's here. I will find her. I'm gonna die. Huh? Something under the table. Found a gold key. Uh, there's a piece of paper beside it. Congrats! You found the treasure! Congrats! Thanks! Uh, I found a gold key for a door I don't know. There's a bunch of locked doors. No, wait, hold on. Those lights look like acorns. Alright, no. Also, my mouse. Whoops. Clock Tower 3. Uh, Alicia Storm has Clock Tower 3. We could never beat the boss. Could not do it. Today's program. Sh Schubert. Three piano pieces. Grand piano. Rude. Um, piano. I mean, fireplace. <laughs> Landscape painting. I know words. David doesn't pick the best places to reside. No, he does not. Hi, Wolf Handle. Welcome, welcome. Did Cat count the cookie man? No, I did not. The crooked man, though. I have not seen him yet. I'm not excited. Wait, wait, let me see if that goes to either of these. It's locked. Can I use items? Gold key. Rude. Alright, I can't. I'm assuming I'd automatically use it. I could be wrong, but... I see the film called The Boy Dream Sequence Purely for Jump Scare with No Effect on the rest of the film. Really? Interesting. Schuber. Shoe Bear. Oh, that's his name. Well, find an example of a really well done jump scare. There are some. There are some. And I've been scared by good jump scares. But. All right. Uh. I'm just scared of everything killing me right now. It's completely dark out. There's a scrap of notebook paper on the dresser. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help her to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still alive. So the firm, former tenant, is that supposed to be James? So he got dumped, huh? The note on the at home did mention that in our special place. He came here with her. No, she didn't get dumped. Where could he be? Got his note a scrapbook paper. Great. The shelves are empty. Uh-uh. 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 I think that I should save. It's cracked. Great. All right. Won't open. Door's locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employees' incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Does this work? Oh, never mind. Use the gold key. I did it. I'm going to leave it on that for a second and catch up. Mm. Because I'm scared. That's fine. 
I think it was the strangers that had very subtle and very well done jump scares. The movie, the strangers. I think I watched that. That scared the shit out of me. Kind that weren't sound re- reliant, but you could see the killers in the background. Yeah, that always scares the shit out of me. Amityville Horror remake did that a lot too. Uh, I was trying to wake up, but I was having a vivid dream, and then I realized cat was dreaming. Hey, it's not you out of bed. That's legit. Did you miss anything? Uh, I got a gold key, and now I used it. That's the extent of my knowledge from when you last left. Can't stand characters in horror films making the dumbest decisions, right? It's like, come on, guys. Live, maybe? Might be a good idea. Our special place this is Silent Hill. Yeah. It is social blasphemy when you unlock new outfits. Enemies get harder. Nope. He's a very famous Austrian composer living in the 18th century. Yeah, Schubert. Got you. Hey. I was going for a blanket, came back with a pillow. I'm feeling safe. There you go. That's one way to feel safe. Rule of thumb, if the character does the right thing and still fails, it's far scarier. By the way, if you guys want a good horror movie, a really good horror movie is very gory, but it's very, it's gory only like mostly in the beginning. It's really good. It's called Hush. It's on Netflix. It's fucking amazing. I really enjoyed Hush. I have not heard someone see it and say it was, ah, it's all right. It's really good. Highly recommend Hush if you have Netflix. Just saying. It's about a girl who's deaf and having to interact with a serial killer. She is not a dumb protagonist. I fucking love it. So good. Hush is good, but the gore. Yeah, there is gore. Hush is awesome. Yeah, right? Yeah, she's deaf. It's really good. You didn't like it? Oh, no, why not? Well, without spoiling. Don't spoil. I thought it was great, though. Personally. She was smart. Really good. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I found Hush. Really? Well, it seems like a majority. But, I mean, I understand if it's eh. But for me, oh, my God, it was so good. It's fairly gore-based, but it's all right. I thought it was really good. Artistic horror. That's legit. Most of the director's movies on Netflix. Like Flanagan? I don't know what that is. I love Hush, says Def. Yeah, I thought it was really good, but personally. Because the ending was great. The protagonist was actually really smart. And um, I found it interesting. I mean, maybe because, like, I felt like this is something that could happen to me. It really freaked me out. It just went on for a while and there wasn't much progress, really. Short attention span, so maybe that might be it. I mean, it's also preference. It's also preference, so. It was like five out of ten. Oh, preservation. I mean, I I never listen to critics. To be completely honest, I never do. So, didn't like it overall because the killer didn't have much story. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I kind of, I mean, you wouldn't in a situation like that, in theory. They wouldn't give you much story. But, yeah, as a viewer, I could see you being like, I could see me or anyone being like, I want to know more about him. Like, why the fuck? But uh, it felt very real, personally. So, but that's just, maybe that's just me. I think everyone gets scared by different things. That's true. That's complete. Oh my God. Kitty Horror Show. Kitty Horror Show shit freaks me out. I wouldn't say it scares me more than Outlast. It creeps me out more. Outlast is like pure shock factor. I really liked one more than two personally, but although I liked the school scenes. A couple years ago, I looked it up. I might rewatch it, see if it changes. That's yeah. I mean, maybe. But if it's not your thing, I totally get you. House in the Woods could not be, could not be more safe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The horror movies that rely on suspense, basically stuff like A Quiet Place. I've not seen A Quiet Place, but I've heard it's really good. I want to see it. I really want to see it. Also, I'm gonna go in this room. I'm gonna save. All right. What is that? A key. I got key to 108. That's downstairs. I know what that is. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. What's this one? Uh, uh, uh. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the uncon- un- unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside. You may be, may be warm and fluffy. But they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconscious kindness. And they will drag you away. Rude. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into stuff his age. Screams of the Slightless. Sightless. Screams of the Sightless. I can't read. Cry of the Unseen. What the? That sound? Uh Uh-uh. 
Decorative plant collecting dust. Great. Completely dark out. Great. All right. I'm just going to see if there's anything collectible. I'm going to save again, though. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm good. Mm -mm. Please, no. No, me gusta. All right. This is fine. What is this? Oh, that's the sign that says, yeah. All right, saving. Is someone there? If he's here, I don't know where to run. I legit haven't found a hiding place. I did it. Save me again. Looks like the bathroom. Weird. Shelves are empty. Something on top. Can rude? Clock is stopped. Oh what? Maybe I can push a chair? Now I can get what's on the dresser. Wire cutters for the staff room. Don't be scared, cat. Squiddy will protect you. Well, I know where I need to go, but I'm saving. And I'm gonna go. Where's the piano room? I think it's up here. Fucking, why did I, ah. why did I run up to her? That scared the, my, I scared the shit out of myself. It's fine. It's fine. Oh gosh, darn. My heart. <laughs> oh my God. Cube, I've heard the cube is good. It's interesting though. Quiet Place is really good. Oh, I gotta check it out. Everyone's least favorite horror movie? Oh. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> Scariest movie of all time. Killer Clowns. Oh my god, Lachess! I didn't read what you said! <laughs> that legit was just my first thought for worst room or worst movie. That's hysterical, Lachess. Oh my god. I didn't read what you said. I was just going down the list. Oh my god. I saw it on the freshman my freshman floor first year in college. It was terrible. It was great. Why did you storm into the room? A fucker, right? My lung? Oh no. I have not seen May. Hmm. Hi, fabulous Nate. Everybody awake now? I'm awake. Hey, the fear was real when I was a kid. Oh, well, I saw it in college, so that was part of it. It's amazing. How dare. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's talk to this girl. Who's there? I think it's what he said. Uh, I I'm sorry. I, I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I, uh, sorry I yelled at you. I'm not the staff for the hotel or anything. Just a crazy man. Who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies. I'm not... Or, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. R really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I'll be going then. Um, oh, I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Killer Clowns is more of a comedy horror. Yeah, that's true. Never drink around funny people, Lucas. Oh no, what happened? Uh, Paul told him not to be a sissy, and now there's a woman here called Sissy. Coincidence? I think not. 
Every time I saw a clone, I screamed and cried and hid behind mom. So, no, that's legit. I never found clowns scary, but I don't know why. I just guess I didn't have an experience with one when I was younger. I'm funny? I'm this close to saying it? Oh, no. Is this Silent Hill? It's following it beat for beat, right? A little bit. Tune in next week for TBC. I'm trying to find this one scene, a perfect example of gem in what is otherwise not a good horror movie. Oh, no. Pan's Labyrinth also makes for a good mix of horror, drama, and fantasy. It's true. Pan's Labyrinth is creepy. It's good, but creepy. I see signs at some point, mostly to analyze the use of suspense. I've never seen signs, actually. Gets oh, I fucking hate the ring. Mm -mm. I can't do the ring. I can't do uh, grudge. Mm -mm. Seen them. Can't do it. Rumpel Stiltskin is the worst horror movie of all time. Did I, I don't know if I've seen that. I might have. It's only natural as they're human natural predators and mimic dangerous wildlife. <laughs> Colorful things in nature. That's true. That is true. For in the spooky looking hotel. <laughs> Send nudes. <laughs> I'm looking for your nudes. Yeah. Oh my god, Wolf Handle. Hate we're not getting Hellboy 3, but cautiously optimistic for the reboot. I love the guy who's playing him. So that'll be interesting. Pants Labyrinth thing is good. Can't spell the maze thing. It's okay, I can't either. Dead Silence. Dead Silence was good. Dead Silence was really good, actually. It got really bad reviews, but I enjoyed it. It's the same guy who made Saw and something else. It's really good, though. It's about dolls, though. Leprechaun Origins. Oh, God. The Ring vs. The Crudge crossover film is hilarious, to be honest. I wanted to see the crossover, though. Dead Silence, yes. Yeah, it's really good. It's really creepy. If you don't like dolls or uh, ventriloquist dolls, <laughs> no. I've never been afraid of uh, ventriloquist dolls until now. <laughs> until I watched that movie. Cat jump scares herself. Thank you, TV fan. <laughs> Goosebumps, the mask scared the shit out of me as a kid, just saying. <laughs> nope. Dead Snow is good and somewhat funny. I remember Dead Snow. I don't really remember. Like, I remember the name. I don't remember the movie. I probably saw it. Probably The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, the remake was hard to watch. I never saw the original. Uh, I've only seen the remake, and it was hard. Mm, it made me really uncomfortable. Dead Snow was lame. Spilled coffee over my keyboard. Oh, no, Lucas, no. Darkness Falls. I've heard of that, but I don't think I've seen it. It was really fucking gross. Yeah, it was, it was, it made me uncomfortable. It was just gross. The original was better. I'll have to see the original then. I'm curious. Who here has seen The Ring 1? Me. And I don't like it. Mm. Cheesy horror that makes them take themselves too seriously. At least have some value. It's true. I enjoy it. Dead Snow is the Nazi zombies trying to stop the kids from digging up their buried gold. I think I I might have seen parts of it. I don't know. Uh, anyway. So. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. I mean, you are. So I have wire cutters. Great. Actually, I'm going to save because I don't want to have to do that cutscene again. Okay. Am I, I'm doing it. Okay. Cut the wire with wire cutters. Who's in here? Surprise, bitches. Hope you weren't naked. Full of miscellaneous goods. Why am I? That was weird. He was, like, magnetized. <laughs> All right. Uh, is this just... I think that's a couch. Miscellaneous goods. Wait, what? Trash can full of crumpled paper. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report it to the owner. Oh. Lined with journals and account books. Uh, tour magazines of the area. Notebook. Oh, X. Door to room 106 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. All right, key to 106. Sweet. There's no doorknob. I can't move. I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. No. Do not. It's locked for a reason. Owner's room. It's locked for a raisin. 106. Uh, 106 might be at the end. Yeah. 
I like the door. Mm. Shelves are empty. Dresser's empty. Clock stop. Mm. Save. Mm. Mm -mm. A doorknob. Oh yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm, would it work on the door without a knob? It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Don't do it. Don't free it. No. Mirror's filthy. Door has no knob and it won't open. Let's use it on that one. Water is great. I don't want to. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm good. I don't want to do it. Oh god, no. I attached the doorknob. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I want to do it. There's a hatch. Lined with novels. No, too. Info maps. Mm, books about hotel mission. That tile specifically looks weird. Book of the Month. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Ooh, that's comforting. The tile seems a little loose. What'd I do? Trash can is empty. I freed it. Phone. Nothing on the shelves. I'm out. I'm out. Uh-uh. Well, I'm dead. It opened. Was there a mechanism in the floor? There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Mm. Flops back in. Welcome back. Can't see a thing. I need a light. I can't, I can't see a thing. God. I can only go up and down. I can't go back up the ladder. It's a bad idea. Full of unused equipment. Uh -huh. What? Lamp oil. Okay. Drum smells like gasoline. Won't blow this place to smithereens, miscellaneous goods. Wooden box. Unused chair. Nope. Nope. Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? For good reason! For a good reason. Hmm. Nope, run, run away. Swim away. Fugle fish, swim away. What? Are you okay? Whoa. Yeah. Run like a bitch! Uh, uh, crap, let go, let go! Press it, confirm to shake off! What was that? Its neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it could have been real. Couldn't even be real. Couldn't even real, PNG images. Uh, confirm! <laughs> I confirm! I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired. It's all... Uh, I feel sick. Confirm that kick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? I got Survivor as an achievement, so... Mm -mm. He just wants a hug. Oh, hell no. I'm giving him a hug. Nope. Mm -mm. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> Everyone's like, nope. Can David come on? 
Uh uh-uh. uh. Where's that sissy girl? Right? David, don't be a dumbass, right? No sleep tonight. <laughs> the lion sleeps tonight. We. Where's sissy? Away. I'm fine. It's fine. Sissy! Was that sissy? Oh my god. <laughs> you to be fair. Uh. <laughs> scared the hell out of me. I wasn't expecting the screen shaking. Alright. Where's the sea? Did she just fall through the floor? Oh my god. Sissy is part of this. Oh my god. I stay up till 4 or 5 a.m. There's no. There's more light outside. No, Marks. Oh no. Jumpity jumps. Oh no. Jump to me. Sissy, what happened? I, I went to the window and the floor gave away. Well, what do I do? What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. No, I can't. I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. I can't this big. It's body size. Jump. This is no time for pessimism. I'm go It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah. Well, bye, bitch. Or did she jump to me? I can't tell. Yeah! That- oh, okay, she, she jumped to me. <laughs> that was close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Aww. So scared. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. Why, why do I? I... It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. But it's fine now. Don't cry. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. I wasn't- it wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always get, just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present or- <laughs> I gotta calm down for a sec. Oh my god. Jumped to my head. Oh my god, singing jump scares. Thank you, Miss Maga Chicken, to be fair with the clip. Oh my god. <sighs> Sudden urge to get fast food. You're making me hungry. Uh, let's leave the crumbling hotel, please, right? A Night Murder Train is another movie based on a story by Clive Barker. Ooh. Ooh. No need to be scared, David. We'll protect you with his giant nose. The kind of person who sings when frightened. Uh, sometimes. Depends. Only if a song comes to mind. Depends. It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Damn. Ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know much about that either. Uh, just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about a person you're looking for? <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. I I'm not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know where he, what he looks like, because, um... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if it weren't you weren't here. I'm very grateful for you for saving me. To you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Oh no, her llamas. Take care of yourself. Alright, I'm gonna save. <laughs> uh, okay. So I guess I'm done in here? I gotta help her find it. I'll go around a little more. Okay. 
I've haven't I looked everywhere? Maybe I haven't I haven't gone this way, have I? Alright. On open. It's locked. On open. It's locked. What do I have? I have a brass key that I still don't know what it goes to. Hmm. Didn't I get the brass key a while ago then? I'm gonna see if it's to this locked door. Oop. Nope. He don't give a shit. Oops. Her appearance is too convenient. Is she a bait? I mean, maybe. Elizabeth, or so is Lisa and Liesel? Is that how you say it? Wait, what's... Is that just a sink? Oops. Okay, yeah. I'm looking around. Staff only. Passcode. I have not gotten a passcode. To my knowledge. Side. Yep. I can't. Okay, I can't interact with any of those. I don't see where she would leave it. I went all the way to the right. Aw, uh, bye Kaiju. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful night. I have a hard time with ginger, the, like, the, what goes with, like, sushi and stuff. Mm. Am I supposed to look around in here? Nothing. Hmm. The clock is stopped. the unseen. Right about that. Hmm. I feel like I've looked everywhere but where the crooked man is and I really don't want to. <sighs> okay, let's see. Mm, can I still not see that? Okay. I'm gonna save. David Hoover. Basement doors open. I did just save. I'm guessing it's in here. That's a bad idea. Oh, it's gone. Seemed like wine caskets. Huh? <gasps> Something here. Got a bronze key. I have two bronze keys now. I don't want, I don't want to move. Is that it? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Please don't. I 
Whew. The spook escaped. <laughs> that makes it less scary, but I'm still scared. Uh, take care, Lone Dreamer. Lone Dreamer, thank you for sticking around after the raid. Thank you so much. Good luck with your errands. Dinner. So I don't know what this bronze key could be to. It could be to anything. There's a locked door over here that I have not been able to do yet. It's apparently not to that. I don't remember which one of these is. Two of them open though. That one opens. That one doesn't open. This one does. Passcode, but I don't have. Okay. Where is this area that she's in the game, right? Where is she? It's the weirdest thing you have ever eaten. I don't know, honestly. Hmm. That's a good question. I would say I have tried squid, though I did not ingest it because it was gross. And no, that makes me sad. Was, was any of these locked? No, okay. Well, there's nothing in here that's locked. So the only thing I think of is something to the left, right. Mm. I have eaten uh, maggots, but it was like the dried flavored ones that you get in like the little packs that's like at joke places or whatever. Um, because it was, I had a Fear Factor birthday party when I was like 16, 17, and it was a lot of points to eat it. So I wanted to win. It was dried up and it was just, ah, uh, But one of my friends kept eating them, so I was like, you know, I need to get some points. Hmm. Loot fisk? What is that? Goat liver. Oh, let it. Nope. Ants, because why not, though? What kind of black? Let it. A leech? Why? I feel like that's weird to like have inside when it's supposed to be sucking your blood on the outside. It wouldn't hurt you, would you? Would it? Uh, well, I mean, I'm assuming her llamas is fine now because you said when you were little. Wine cask seems mostly empty. Who's drinking all the wine? Who's drunk? That's it. He's just really drunk. Empty beer bottles. Okay. Brandy. It's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. Why did I have... Okay. I really wanted that monologue. Journal seems seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. Except, or OX. The toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink to the beer... All the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the uh, for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage, all his crap, silly crap made this place impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. The book of the month! Uh, what the hell do you do if you forget? Uh, maybe it's good for him, but sure is not for hell for us. Ah, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we get out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first door, right? Far end of the first floor. Passcode on food is pretty absurd. I can find that out. Empty bro bottles. They drink so much. A glass. Excuse me. Lufisk is cod that's soaked in lye until it becomes consistency of like fish gelatin. Huh. 
I could not have it with butter. I could not. The consistency would freak me out. Hi, Blood Younger Ray. Hello, hello. Uh, this is uh, version number four is what I'm playing. But it's whatever's most recent. Yeah, don't don't think about it if it makes you sick. <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't be there. Ooh, I keep getting caught right there. I forgot what the book was. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. How could I forget? The strange case. So what what letter would that be? T or S? Wait, wait, I have to go to the library. I gotta find out the answer. Where is this girl? I found it! The blackboard to the owner's room said, the strange case of Dr. Jekyll must hide. This could be the shelf, right? Ah, here we go. Story of the door. Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, was a man of a rugged countenance, countenance that was never lighted by a smile. Cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse. Backwards, sentimental, lean, long, dusty, dreary, and yet somehow lovable. At friendly meetings and when wine was his, to his taste, something eminently human beckoned him from his eye. Something, indeed, which never found its way into his talk but which spoke not only in these silent symbols of the after-dinner face, but more often than loudly in the acts of his life, as to himself, uh, drank a gin when he was alone in mortified taste vengeance, vantages, vintages, vintages, and though he enjoyed the theater, he had not crossed the doors of one for 20 years, but he had an approved tolerance for others, sometimes wondering almost with envy at the high pressure of spirits involved in their misdeeds and at any extremity inclined to help rather than reproof. Oh my god. Do I have to read it all? Wait, read it again. Chapter 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, Fuck. Uh. What am I supposed to do? I think I saved. Hi! No way, that monster did it really? Run. I don't know where I'm supposed to run to. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Wait. Ah! 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 Bye, bitch. Ah! Well. Rip. Game over. I got a game over achievement. Great. How am I supposed to... The cookie man. How... He got really fast there. So what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Ew, cigarette. Oh, that sounds painful. Miss Level Lore. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Captain Kirk! Thank you so much for the 10 months in a row! I have a small headache. Oh, no problem. By evening, what time were you thinking? Did let me know in Discord what time is good for you. Or if you just want to let me know when you're done resting from a headache, that's fine too. I'm free all night. Take care to be fair. Thank you so much, Captain Kirk. Guys, they're all the love and chat. You guys are already doing it. But thank you so, so much. Hey, 10 months. Captain Kirk, 10 fucking months. That's so many months. So many. Hello, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Take care to be fair. I stopped drawing when I was a kid. Just ate paper. I mean, eating paper seems normal. <laughs> All right. How am I supposed to juke him? 
All right. This will be interesting. All right. Hi. Well, I can't hide. <laughs> Take care of the ruiner. Have a wonderful day as well. Take care of yourself. Oh, I'm not going to even try. Let me say it, cat. Don't want to spoil. No. Uh. Maybe if I drop down here. We just had a stare off. It's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I thought I still had to do something. I just pushed him in there. Well, I have to go down there. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was... I can't believe such a thing exists. But there's no way it's coming back now. The room under's locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Bye, bitch. Get wrecked. Uh... Does that count as murder? If it's a killer, I would assume not. <laughs> GG, I won the game. It's the end screen. Don't come out. Don't come out. Okay, so, oh no. It was one, two, four, five, eight, ten. Do I have to add that together? That's not a four digit number. When is there something I'm supposed to notice about it? I do think out loud. It's true. I will say I'm, I'm asking chat. Um. Jeopardy music, right? I think I have to go look at it again. Because I don't remember. That's how the cookie crumbles, actually. I should save. I hope I don't have too much longer in this place, because I kind of want to just beat this place before I stop. Over here. Oh, fuck me. There are certain things that are caps and certain things. <sighs> 20 years. All right, this one. Ready? Alright, um... 20 years. Hour of 12. Hmm. I think that's it. One year later. One year later. Month of October 18. Oh my god, there's too many numbers. About 11. Bed. 11. This is too many numbers. Am I doing this wrong? I can't brain today.
I see nothing there. Um. No numbers there. I was born in the year 18. I think that's it. I didn't see what the first, what the 20 years is about. I had not crossed the doors of one in 20 years. Okay. Mm. Maybe it's 1918, born year. There are so many things it could be right now. This is brain mayo. I think we can't grow what in it. Want a hint? I will want a hint if this does if I can't figure this out right here. But hold on. Um, 1018 maybe? Hmm. 1211? I have no idea. I need a hint. <laughs> I'm asking chat for a hint. Hello, I'm streaming. This isn't for us. Oh. That's our address. So. That's weird. Also, oop. What? The cat. I have no, that's a weird name. Weird? No, like, I, I, nobody I know. Yeah, I don't know. I assume she just wrote it now. Well, well also, but don't show cat cam. What, this? Don't show cat cam. Yeah. What is that? Don't say it out loud. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. You know. The book is key. Just look at what's missing. Oh! <laughs> you always get those wolf prints where something's missing, and I always think it's what's there. Uh, so one, two, four, five, eight, ten. So it's three... Six, seven, nine. Damn it! Thank you. I got it. That was River. That was my lovely River. But River can't show themselves because they just got home from work and are wearing work clothes. So. I can't. Hey. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Three. Six. Seven. Rude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wolf Prince. Now I need to make food. I know I'm so hungry. I might not. I might not continue after I get through this portion because I'm starving right now. This will be interesting on Friday, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna plow through. I'm gonna have a lunch break though, like legit lunch. I'm gonna eat lunch with you guys and have like actually like food, like a hot pocket or something. I like puzzles. You're really good at them. Look at my laptop. Going to bed to watch a. Hey. I just need to pay attention a little more. You're fine. I would like to try and get out of this building, so we'll see. You see something shining, but it's out of reach. Rude. Trash can is empty. I'm gonna save. Alright. I can't interact with this. Oh, wait, I can. Rex, hold taper wheel, taper and cooking utensils. Alright. Knife. Small fruit knife. Do I not want the small fruit knife? Rusty pot. I feel like you'd want a weapon at this point in time, but okay. It smells rotten. Great. Oh, great. 
Oh, great. Lovely. Cupboard. Hinges are too rusted to open. Ladder? Can I bring it over? I could use this to get that thing. Do it. Eating food stream? Hey. <laughs> Got the... Oh, 209. Where's that? That's on the other side. Okay. I thought that was painted. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Because my plan is to go through the entirety of... Don't start kit is to go through uh, the entirety of Detroit. So I'm going to have to actually have lunch while with you guys. Maybe I'll order something and eat it on stream. Have them deliver. It'll decide lunchtime. What's Buck Bank? Thought so 109 would be this one, right? Yeah. What? Two oh nine. My bad. If I could read, it would make my life a lot easier. Pizza sounds good, always pizza. Mm. Problem is I'd want mod and mod does not deliver. And no one will be home until way later. Wait, so is this two oh nine? Two eight, two nine. Looks like something was badly burnt. Was this a photo? There's something under the pieces. Notebook scrap. BRB guys, I'm legit. On the reading part, hey, go us. Oh my god, everyone's like pizza. I mean, sad panda. What I could do is get mod tonight and then save half of it for tomorrow for lunch. I'll just microwave it. It's fine. I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to ease every erase everything, good and bad, and all the memories inside of me too. Ugh, my head hurts. Seizing up. Shh, I'm exhausted. Guess I haven't slept much. So he burnt this photo to mend his broken heart, huh? I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Paul's a dick. Sissy! There you are, David! Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But, Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around, and I found it in the basi basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not afraid of a boogeyman, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm not, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. Hey, <laughs> don't worry. I'm not mad. You don't get, seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll just, I'll go looking elsewhere. Bitch. <laughs> I have never had anchovies, and I don't think I ever could smell. Oh my god, the winged squid. Winged squid! Who are you? <laughs> Just me. Just me. Always me. Oh, I've never been in here. What? Looks like a bathroom. Word. I didn't get anything, though. I've got nothing to lead me to anywhere else. So I'm guessing something's gonna trigger. What? Red writing. Was this here before? No, I would have noticed. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I am waiting. For you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who would have written this? Who could have? Why? 
I trapped you down a pit. <clears throat> Crap, I gotta do something. What am I? Oh, you. He runs fast. <clears throat> All right, it's blood. I can't do it the way Lissy does it. Blood. I don't know if you can tell I watch a lot of bowling art. I try really hard not to pick up their mannerisms, though. Because <laughs> they're, they're ma their mannerisms, not mine. All right. Uh, fight me, fam. Never. Spooky blood. All right. Hmm. Rip. Pineapple and anchovies together. But be yourself. That's what I try to be. I say a lot of rude. Okay, we're just gonna stare at each other across the table for a hot second until I figure out what I need to do. Maybe the glass? Fuck! You know? I think I have to get to the glass. I think I'm gonna throw a glass at his face. Because that's the only thing that looks like grabbable in that room. Be yourself. Well. I just woke up, crusted it's on a long nap. All right. So I'm gonna try and reach that glass. He sucks though. 176 degrees. A hot second. <laughs> Can't win staring contest. Technically. Welcome back to the land of the living. Ooh. Fuck! Anytime he does that, I'm screwed. With the way he does his jerks. Like, as soon as he sees me, he beelines it. And I can cut him off, but it's not easy. Alright. I should really save right here so I don't have to keep uh, doing it. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna die a lot. Fuck. I'm already dead. Oh. I'm not dead. A glass. Rude! I was depending on that. I was depending on that. Okay. <sighs> Offer him a drink, right? Having the AC on today, but it's too hot. Oh yeah, we we have ours on. Fuck you. Uh, how's the stream? I, the Yakuza was cool. I like a lot of the cutscenes too. Fuck. I'm guessing I have to run out, but that just seems. Come to me. I got the achievement unlocked five. I guess I've died five times. I think it was more than that, but okay. Alcohol flavor cookie man? Uh, I'll try to run outside, but I don't think it's going to work. I got caught! Ah! Well. I'm really bad at running away from things in RPG Maker games, by the way. If you couldn't tell. Uh... I'm guessing I have to run out. And if that doesn't work, I have no idea. Cause that gla glass looks really legit. <gasps> Fuck! You need to be Laura Croft, seriously though. I'm having a really hard time trying to get around him too. Cause I can't sprint! It's just what he does. His speed is his speed.
Headshot master, right? <laughs> rude monster. Rude monster is rude. The one she told me about FaceTime. Remove the band-aid and she... Her fa it looks infected. Oh, no. Alcohol wound and fresh band-aids. Oh, well, that's good. His speed like my speed fast. Yeah, like your speed fast, Wolf Vandal. Okay, I need you to come that way. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay over there. Ooh. I went the wrong way. There's no way I can run from him. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Am I doing something wrong? Because if I am, I'm asking you guys. Because I don't... I can't think of anything else to do. Because he's way too fast. Firepower? Uh, use it on what? You're supposed to live. I mean... Power... I can't, yeah, you can't sprint. There's no sprint function in this game. I've tried. Aw, uh, take care of the nerd. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with us. Have a wonderful night. So I'm gonna, I'm assuming light something on fire. Maybe these ones next to me. But I think they're empty. <gasps> back the fuck up, back the fuck up. Well, that happened fast. And scream like a girl. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. I'm surprised I lived that long for a second. Okay, so what? They seem to be full. Okay. I need to run to that. That's what I was trying to do, but then I fucked up. Hey, buddy, come get. What? Oh, I did something. <laughs> Bitch! I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Oh, yeah, now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be pretty flammable. Fire! <laughs> Thank you! I didn't think about that at all. Bye bye now. He ran away. <sighs> what the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? Oh, well, you just fell a floor. I might need something to defend myself, but even j even just a knife could really help. Was there one on the ground? There was one of those around. There was. I'm gonna save. I remember. Okay, I remember. I'm gonna go get that uh, fruit knife. He lit. <laughs> oh my god. We have to be frame perfect a little bit. A lot of the situations have been frame perfectness. So I just gotta be ooh, aware of it. Well, yeah. Fruit knife. Maybe I should take it for self defense. I got a knife. What else am I supposed to do, though? Blood. Ooh, more blood. B blood? This wasn't here earlier. D did something happen to Sissy? Which way is the blood going? Okay, it's clearly meant to go in there, so I'm gonna save. Door's unlocked. Hey, sissy, how you doing? Hey, how, how you, how, how you doing, girl? How, how you doing? Uh, sissy, I'd like it if you talk to me. Hey, girl, hey. Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So, it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not a big 
It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? Can you just get it? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Dots. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try and wrap it up. Duh. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Of course. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just woke up and got the courage to come back. I just worked up the courage to get back. Woke up. She woke now. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Because she's kind? She does look a little bit like her. So, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest you a little while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. I, if I'm a pain, I'm, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Aw, oh, thanks, Alamas. Th then what should I do? Y you just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off just staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. W wait! We can talk this out! Shirley! Don't call me Shirley. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Well, that's just sad. I was hoping to get to chapter two if there is one. I don't think that's going to happen. A key to somewhere. I found it. Something's in the fountain. The box! A box? Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it in here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get Sissy Pronto. I'll get this to Sissy Pronto. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Mm. Why the fuck she go? Huh? Did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. Well, Sissy? Scream again. Scream again. Sh 
Shirley Temple. Forgot how long this game can be. I was just trying to get to through chapter one. I just wanted to get out of this place, but I think I'm about to be. I already did this place though. Well, rip sissy, because I can't find her. I feel like she must be down here, then. Rude. Maybe she's where he was? Take a nap now. Yes, take a take a good nap. Uh, let me look behind here. Wait, let me check the garden. Nope. Where you at, girl? Nothing left in there, I hope. Where the fuck you at, girl? She's in space. She is now. All right. Well, maybe she's at the front. Hold up. Nope. Never mind. Can we get it? Thank you. It won't open. Won't open. Won't open. Nothing. Won't open. Nope. Okay, upstairs, let's see. This looping music though. Found her! Sissy? Distraction. Ah, ah. Run, bitch. No, no, stay away! Stop right there, back off, monster! David! Or in my face. Damn it. Sissy, get out of the hotel. D David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. I'm gonna cut you. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Did I just hit exit? I just hit exit instead of uh, save. I'm about to die. I hit exit instead of save. This is fine. I saved right beforehand, so it's fine. Oops. Oops. <laughs> A plus plus. So I'm supposed to fight him. Spook has no concept of personal bubble. It's true. Snap finger. Turn that frown upside down! Quite literally. Alright, let's do this. Shit. I got you. Save! Is that me saving? I think so. Z button to attack? Okay, that might be easier. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God. Nope. I'm about to die. He takes a lot of hits! David's about to die, though. Fuck! <laughs> well, it's fine. At least I'm right here now. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Ow! God damn it. Well, I might as well take the hit. Because that was bad. That was really bad. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Boss fight! Huh. 
I'm gonna wait for him to not be fast. Woo! Fast. Fast. Out of word of shame. <laughs> 100 HP. You need to level up, cat. Yeah, apparently. David. I'm free. David. David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. But never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. But. Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through all this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I... I just don't want to forget him. I just want to have a memory of him at least. It's okay, I have the box. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone... Someone... Somebody help! Sissy... Hi, weird-looking bug. That's a really weird-looking bug. Shy guy! There's a weird-looking bug! Please don't cry. What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David. You know, I was dumped a few months ago too. I was sure we were going to get married. You too? I was dejected. Even now it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how much I was, a co how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. Couldn't even be happy when I, my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either, and that's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David? This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Cute. Thank you, David. I'll, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David? Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needed a key to open. So, though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. I've had this key this whole time. Maybe this brass key. Huh? <laughs> no, of course not. It is. Ah, huh, yes, that's the one. Where'd you find it? What, really? I picked it up around here. Key from my house opened Sissy's box. I thought so. It's the same, dude. So the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? I wonder why, I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Uh, maybe it's the same person! You two. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll just get you horn... Escort you home, sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be all right. Thanks, though, David. Well. Aww. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Th that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this address where he is now? 
Is that more references to Silent Hill? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I can, until I find him, I can, I'll go anywhere. Hey! Scene one! Hotel Ruinheim. Sissy. End. What? And I will save on the second one. Hey! We did it! I got scene one complete. I don't think the last one was Silent Hill reference. Okay. I wish it could be that smooth. <laughs> Let's see you met smooth. All right. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. So this is the place. Looks like school is abandoned. No one around, though I guess they'd be inside. Let's see if I can even enter. All right. No, we will not, because I need to eat some noms. It's been five hours. I'm a little hungry. But thank you so much, the Wolf Prince, for this game was pick. It's a lot of fun, even though it's spoopy. Although I'll, I'll probably need help for fights if we do it in the future, because I clearly am not getting what I should be doing, but oops. Yeah. So, there are five scenes total. I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, that, was, that kiss was cute. Cheek peck. Exactly. 